So I have opened Visual Studio Code. That's what I'm going to use to build our application. And the first thing I want to do is let's open a folder. This will be our new folder application. So I have a projects folder. And now let's create a new folder and call it simple web app. Okay. Let's say create. And we are going to open this. And once it's open, it's we are inside of it. And now we want to create, we want to initialize npm so that our package.json file uh, will be created. So we will say npm init. And now the name, you can pass these, they are not very important. Yes. So the important thing is now we have our package JSON file. Okay. So since we have entered everything, it takes the defaults. Now the second thing we want to do is we want to create a file called server.js. So we will say server.js. So this is our JavaScript file. And the first thing, let's see if it's if it will work. Hello. Hello. Here I am. That's it. Now if we say node server.js, it should write into our console hello here I am. Let's see. And here. Yeah, hello here I am. Okay, so far so good. Okay, next we have to use Express. For that, the first thing we have to do is to install Express. And that's quite easy using npm. We will say npm install Express and we want to save it into our package.json file. So this is going to install um, Express. It shouldn't take very long. Okay. So our node modules file folder has been created since we have installed um, a new uh, framework. Here we have Express, okay? And if you check the package JSON, we will see that in dependencies we have Express and the uh, version. So now we can continue and use Express in our server.js file. What we have to do is, let's delete this. We have, first of all, to require it. Now we will use const. We learned before what this is. We will say express equals to require. We also learned about that. And we will say express. So this will go and check the node modules, find express, and will import the library, okay? And once we have done, done that, we will say another const app, and this will be our express. That's done. So from now on, if we use app, we will be using the express framework. And the first thing we want to do is to create a server where browsers can connect to. We can do so with the help of a listen method provided by express. Okay, now let's use it, app.listen, and we will say, first of all, it's asking for a port, at which port we are going to listen to our application, let's say 3000 function, and sorry, let's say, when you are st starting to listen, please inform me. Okay, so if I trigger this, let's clear this one and go to terminal and node server.js. 
So it should write listening to port 3000 and then we should be able to connect using a browser to our application. It's listening on port 3000. Now let's say localhost and we will use 3000 and press enter. Voila, it says cannot get. Okay, this is a normal error message, no problem. Um, we, have, we don't have a get right now. We are going to edit, but this error shows us that we are able to connect to our server. So it's a good sign. We are communicating and now we can begin our REST API operations.